What's up guys, it's Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder and today I'm going to be showing you how to learn your app habits and get cool and informative charts showing which apps you use, how often you use them, and what percentage of the day um, you take up using those apps. So the application we're talking about today is called App Habits. It's free in Google Play so make sure to download that. And pretty much what it does is it shows you informative charts based on the apps that you use and if you use apps a bunch of times it'll actually start suggesting those apps to you in a cool little drop down menu right here and that's called it's time for or app habits it's time for and so right now at the current time these four applications are the applications that I usually use so if I just tap on that it'll take me right into Pandora now um, the setup is pretty simple since it's basically tracking what you want to do instead of you having to figure out or configure things yourself. When you first um, launch it, you're going to need to sign up. All you have to do is put in an email address and create a password and that's that. And then it'll jump into this help screen right here. You can close out. And of course, it's going to take some time for it to gather the data. So I've been using this for a couple days now. and. Um, it's divided into three sections, most use apps by day, top use apps, that's any day, and then Launchpad, which is the apps that I use most often, and they, they will continue to add up here. So if I go back just to the most used apps, so today I've used Injustice, that's a little skewy, which I'll show you guys later, Pandora for an hour, um, and you can see in the morning, afternoon, and night, it's separated by that, and then of course Google Search. So with Injustice, I obviously haven't been playing Injustice for 6 hours and 30 minutes. But if it is running in the background, um, it does count. And it will take that into consideration. So if you want this to be super accurate, just make sure to actually close out of apps like Injustice or apps that stay in the background like Pandora um, if you're not actually using it, if you want to get the most accurate information. Um, so in this section, there's a couple things I can just go over. Uh, right here, there's a category summary. So if you just tap on that, it'll tell you the category. So that's music and audio. This is tools. And then this is shopping. And that will break down. That's for today. So that's the amount of time I've used um, for this category, this category, and this category. And so if you want to add a category, so you can see here Pandora is, of course, in the music category. For Injustice, if I want to add a category, I'll tap on this pencil icon right here so that it'll um, display correctly. And I can scroll down and I can tap on games. So now it's been added to the games category. So next time, once it takes into account how often I've used it, the games category will be up here and it'll give me the percentage. And that's just so you know what kind of apps you're using and how um, much of the time you're actually spending using those apps. So it's a cool addition to breaking down besides the charts that you can see here. You can also share your information. So if you want to share, oh, I used whatever, this for this amount of time, you can share with Instagram, Gmail, Facebook, and all the other normal things. Um, if you want to hide an application, so system settings are automatically hidden, and they're added to the hidden app list. So if I want to hide Injustice, I know how much I use it, and I don't care, or I don't want to feel bad about using it for 80 hours, or whatever. I can just click on this eye eyeball icon, and it'll hide it from the app so we'll no longer be tracking my usage for that application and if you click on the shopping bag it'll take you to Google Google Play where you can see if there's an update or if you want to uninstall it or just see the reviews so that's also pretty handy as well I'm gonna hop back into the app then again top use apps total so these are it's in top five so these are the top five apps I've used since I've downloaded this program and then others that will keep going I think it stops at 10. And that's also just useful if you want to see all the apps that you've used so far. And again, this is the launch pad. So this will automatically um, aggregate all the apps that I've used constantly or, or, or more often. And they'll put them in here. So then if I want to launch an app quickly, just like you would with recent apps, I can jump in here and I can click on an app. Again, this kind of segues into the app habits feature. So because of those apps, it'll actually display the most current applications or the most frequented applications right here. So then I can just click on this from the, the notification menu. Um, that's actually most of the app's features that I've showed you guys. You can go to settings, <clears throat> and if you want to take away that it's time for, which is 
what I just showed you guys here. You can just tap on that and it will no longer be there. But of course I think that is a useful feature so I always leave it on. Um, you can go back and then in the settings you can turn off auto hide. So this um, app have its auto hides applications that it knows that you probably don't want to track. Um, if you do want to track certain applications you can just turn off auto hide and they will be added to the normal list. And then for accuracy highly recommended, I mean highly accurate is recommended of course but for older models if you don't, if it, it might um, eat up your battery or cause your phone to run a little bit slower if you have an older older version of of Android that is suggested that you use the low accuracy setting. Um, and those are pretty much the main features of the app. So pretty much all, all this does is it monitors the, the app usage that you do throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, and it gives you these cool looking charts um, to show you when you use an app, what amount of time of the day you spent on that app to better help you be more productive or at least show you what you're spending your time on. And that's really it. We all want to know what we're spending our time on and how we can spend our time better. And that's exactly what App Habit does. So just make sure to check that out. In the full tutorial, I have links and a bunch of more information and screenshots. And also make sure to, of course, download it in Google Play. And if you guys like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel and comment. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the other side.